Hi guys, in the previous video I showed you how you can get Ubuntu server to use a specific IP address. This is quite helpful for things like port forwarding so you know where your server is at any point. And in the video before that I showed you how you can install it. If you wanted to have a look at the guides I've written of how you can do this instead of watching the videos then you can do if you go over to wilson18.com and go to the how to tab at the top, scroll down to the server and you've got your two guides there. Um, it goes through the code and it's got god knows how many pictures on there just so you can't really go wrong. Um, if you've got any questions, comment below, watch the videos in the playlist and let us know if you get stuck. So, um, in this video I'll be showing you how you can install phpMyAdmin. Uh, that's just a web management tool for the database. If you don't want to use it then you can skip this video and just go on to the next. Um, in that video I'll be showing you how you can update the system. So to get started we need to open up our server. I'll be running this on the virtual machine just to make things a little bit easy for myself. And I will be stopping and starting the videos just to speed it up for you a bit so you don't have to watch the lengthy install or anything like that. So we can start the server. And we then need to log in. And once you've logged in, you'll notice that this is, well, you might not notice, but um, this is actually a slightly different machine to the previous one I wasn't doing it on. And this was because my internet connection went down as it was downloading a package, and it kind of killed the server. But don't worry about it. Um, it's it, it was, it's fixed anyway. So. To do that, you'll also once I've logged in. By the way, sorry. Um, you'll notice that there is um, updates available, and I'll be explaining how you can update in the next video. So make sure you keep posted. So to actually install PHP My Admin, you have to type in sudo, and then apt get install, and then PHP My Admin. And what that does is a sudo bit tells um, Linux to run it as an administrator. Sudo means super user do. And the app to get is basically how we go about installing or removing packages and so on. The install bit saying we want to install and the PHP my admin is package we're installing. So once you've done that, click enter and type in your password. Make sure you get it right. And once you've done that, it'll read the package and say, right, this is. 23 meg big, are you sure you want to install it? And the answer is yes, we do. So this will then connect to a bunch of servers and start downloading the correct packages. And spend, depending on the speed of your internet, it may be fast or it may be slow. Right, now it's asking which web server we want to install it with. Um, by default, Ubuntu has Lite TPD. Um, never used it before, so I'm not sure about it. But the one we installed was Apache 2. So make sure that's selected and press the space bar to properly select it and press enter to install it. Right, once that's done, um, we can just click yes for this. Right, now we need to choose the password for the database administrative user. I would recommend using the same as Ubuntu, um, the password we chose when we were actually installing it. It just makes it a little bit easier. So, um, we'll go ahead and type that in. And we then choose the password we want to use for the MySQL application password for PHP MyAdmin. Again, I'm just going to be using the same password. If you know what you're doing, then feel free to choose your own, but I'm just keeping it simple. And same again, confirm your password, make sure it's correct. And once it's all matched, it'll then install. Once it's done that, you can tell it's finished. And we've installed PHP My Admin. Um, if you just wanted to test that and make sure it's working, you can open up your internet browser again and type in the IP address um, or if you've already got a domain set up on there then you can do that 
but I'm just going to be doing it via its IP address, which is 10.0.0.150, and then forward slash PHP my admin. And you can see that it works. We can attempt to log in as well if you'd like to, just to prove a point. But it works fine. Um, another point that I'm going to make is it's not very secure having it set like this. Um, but in the next couple of videos, I will be going over the security aspects of hosting this server and the things we can do to make it a little bit more secure. So make sure you check back and watch that. If, if you subscribe, you'll get an email when it comes up and it, it makes it a bit easier. But if you like the video, then please like it, subscribe again, means you can watch the rest of our videos. And to be honest, it's just nice to see that people are liking and subscribing it. If you've got any comments, then leave them below as well. If you if you didn't get anything about what we did, or you've got any questions, or you want to learn how we do something, then comment below, and I'll, I'll make sure I'll get back to you quite quickly. Um, check out our website. So there's plenty of guides on there, and if you could like us on Facebook, that'd be bloody brilliant. But uh, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.